Brent, Amanda, we're about two blocks away from where this is happening on Main Street. As you can see, the scene has pretty much stayed the same for the last couple hours. Uh, we haven't been able to see much movement down there, where you can see some of those heavily armed vehicles in front of where this situation has taken place. Police do say it is happening in an apartment above a hair salon. Police say they encountered heavy fire from the upper floors when they arrived on scene. A witness told me that they heard somewhere between 8 to 10 shots initially and then a second set of another 8 to 10 shots shortly after that. This all playing out around noon. Now, since then, police have tried to make contact with the person inside of here who they've referred to as Matt, and they've asked him to come out with his hands up or talk to them, give him a call or come to the window. We're not sure if they've been able to make contact. Another thing we have heard is that one person was shot that was a civilian, but they have non-life-threatening injuries and were taken to Yale New Haven Hospital. But for more on this situation as it continues to develop, we'll get it to you here on Fox 61 News. But before that, I'll send it over to Carmen Chow with another look at this scene. Carmen. Dave, the scene is stretched out pretty far, but right now I'm on Kirkham and Main Streets where you can see police still have this area closed off. Police have been doing a great job directing traffic, but we know some people have been very frustrated and thrown off on where they can or can't turn around this scene here. We are not hearing police speak from afar and we're not sensing any urgency at the moment. On this side, at least all is calm. I did speak to a jeweler in this area who says this heavily impacted his business all day and he's closing early because the road closures have not brought him any customers at all. It actually, uh, we called many people as far as repairs being done, as far as work ready, as far as questions, and it, the whole area was shut down to where nobody could come to us. Nobody. Uh, we had maybe two or three stragglers all day long for batteries and watches or, or little minor repairs, but it actually shot the day down. And back out here live, it appears some businesses on the street have closed as a result. We are working to find out if police plan on reopening up the roads anytime soon. And once I get that information, I'll be sure to pass it along to the newsroom. For now, I'm live in Brantford. Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News. Carmen, thank you. That situation in Brantford has been developing all day. Yeah, you can follow us on the free Fox 61 News app or online at fox61.com for more information as we get it. And of course, we will also update you on the news at 10 and 11.